All right, it's Wednesday, September 13th, 2023, and I decided to read a Bible verses Bible verses on the theme of memorial as a tribute to the belated tribute memorial anniversary of 9/11, 23rd anniversary. And I've been watching videos, countless videos, and I'll share this is just one of many links and there's a lot of videos that um, I shared on these links so feel free to check that out and I'll link that below this one under this video so I'm gonna read from the book of Revelations chapter 14 on the um, memorial Revelations chapter 14 one of many Bible verses on memorial praise the Lord hallelujah and this is I never been to this 9-11 or Memorial World Trade Center in New York City but I have been in the World Trade Center that uh, actually unfortunately collapsed or whatever you believe in whether it was crashed into or collapsed or detonated that's another story um, anyways um, Revelations chapter 14, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Um, the Lamb and the 144,000. Then I look, and there before me was the Lamb, standing on Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. And I heard a sound from heaven like the roar of rushing waters and like a loud peal of thunder. The sound I heard was like that of harpists playing their harps. And they sang a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures and the elders. No one could learn the song except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. These are those who did not defile themselves with women, for they remained virgins. They follow the Lamb wherever He goes. They were purchased from among mankind and offered as firstfruits to God and the Lamb. No lie was found in their mouths. They are blameless. The next chapter, section theme is the three angels. Verse 6, When I saw another angel flying in midair, and he had the eternal gossip, gospel to proclaim to those who live on the earth, to every nation, tribe, and language and people. He said in a loud voice, Fear God and give him glory, because the hour of his judgment has come. Worship him who made the heavens, the earth, the sea, and the springs of water. A second angel followed and said, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great, which made all the nations drink the maddening wine of her adulteries. A third angel followed them and said in a loud voice, If anyone worships a beast and its image and receives its mark on their forehead or on their hand, they too will drink the wine of God's fury, which has been poured full strength into the cup of his wrath. They will be tormented with burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and the Lamb, and of the Lamb, and the smoke of their torment will rise forever and ever. There will be no rest day or night for those who worship the beast and its image, or for anyone who receives the mark of its name. This calls for patient endurance on the part of the people of God who keep his commands and remain faithful to Jesus. Then I heard a voice from heaven say, Write this, Blessed are the dead who die on the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit. They will rest from their labor, for their deeds will follow them. Then the last checks and theme of Revelation chapter 40, 14. Harvesting the earth and, the, and trampling the winepress. Verse 14, I looked, and there before me was a white cloud. And seated on the cloud was one like the Son of Man, with a crown of gold on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. Then another angel came out of the temple and called in a loud voice to him, who was sitting on the cloud, Take your sickle and reap, 
because the time to reap has come for the harvest of the earth is ripe. So he was seated on the cloud, swung his sickle over the earth, and the earth was harvested. Another angel came out of the temple in heaven, and he too had a sharp sickle. Still another angel who had charge of the fire came from the altar and called a loud voice to him who had the sharp sickle. Take your sharp sickle and gather the clusters of grapes from the earth's vine because its grapes are ripe. The angel swung his sickle on the earth, gathered its grapes and threw them into the great winepress of God's wrath. They were trampled in the winepress outside the city and the blood flowed out of the press, rising as high as a horse's Brittles for a distance of 1,600 stadia. And that's interpreted as 180 miles. Wow. Lord, we pray for a revelation understanding of this book. As the book of Revelations is a very deep book. Speak to each of those who are here. Speak to our, other, to our dreams. Through your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. And Lord, we pray for those who... Families of victims from the 9-11, not only just the World Trade Center, but the Pentagon and uh, Philadelphia, the Pennsylvania plane crash and uh, the impacts from that 9-11 tragic event. We pray for your peace and your Holy Spirit upon, upon them. May their trust and dependence in you grow. Open people's eyes in these times, especially with the recent... Uh, Flooding in Libya, 20,000 supposedly might have died. The earthquake in Morocco, supposedly three to 4,000 passed away, and this within a week. And I'll call, of course, the people in Hawaii, pray for the re rebuilding of that, and other parts of the world that we don't know what's going on. May your Holy Spirit and presence fall on these nations and places. Come and let your presence fall in these places, fall in these places. Come and let your presence fall in these places. Give them peace and comfort through your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen.